there! My name is Professor Patch, head scientist at the Pink Orange Headquarters. And today, we're going to be doing a scientific experiment that everyone could try at home using their pink orange boxes. This is Sink or Swim. Now, for today's scientific experiment, you will need one potato, one can of chopped tomatoes, one carrot, one onion, and one clove of garlic. You will be using your powers of deduction and prediction to work out which items will sink and which will float. The first step for this experiment will be to fill up a container with water. This can be as easy as filling up your bath, your sink, a bowl, or a container like we have here. Remember kids, make sure there's an adult there to help you out. You'll need them to dry off the items as quickly as possible so you can make them into amazing recipes using your pink orange box. Now, all top scientists, like yourselves, go through the same scientific process when conducting experiments. They have a hypothesis. Now this is a big word, but it's just a statement that you try and prove or disprove. They then conduct the experiment and present their findings. Our hypothesis is that everything will float. We now, through experimentation, will try to prove or disprove our hypothesis. So let's begin! First up is our potato. Pause the video now if you don't want to find out the results, but we're going to proceed anyway. Will the potato sink or will it swim? Aha! The potato has sunk. This has disproven our hypothesis already. Next up is our can of chopped tomatoes. Will it sink or will it swim? Ah, it's sunk. Next up is our carrot. Pause the video now if you don't want to find out. Will it sink or will it swim? It's sunk! Now it's time for our onion. Pause the video and make your prediction. Will it sink or will it swim? It swims! The onion floats! And finally, it's our clove of garlic. Pause the video now. What will happen? Will it sink or will it swim? The garlic swims! As you can see, three out of our five food objects have sunk. That means our hypothesis has been disproven. But why has this happened? Here are some links so you can find out the science behind our experiment. Well done for making it through this experiment. Now, you can even try the same experiment with different items around your house, but always ask an adult first. Remember kids, keep experimenting. 